We good? We're online? We're good? Yeah. We're going. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Uh, thank you for joining us for the latest Sylvia Findings live stream, episode 36, I think, 36. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, continuation of the settings, I think, or the pendant settings, I should say. We're just about at the end. Uh, I've got three trays left of actual settings, and then uh, next week um, we have a bunch of uh, solder on pieces, uh, pendant settings that uh, don't have bales or uh, are just, you know, weird more parts, even though these are technically all parts, but. Uh, You'll know what I mean next week if you're uh, here. Anyway, thank you for joining us. Um, uh, we do these every week. If you're here watching the first time, um, <laughs> thanks for jumping in at the deep end, I guess. Um, we go through and uh, talk a little bit about... Uh, I'm going to show you all of the settings uh, that we have, all the pendant settings. Uh, we go through and talk a little bit about each one, how they work, uh, you know, what's the best way to use them and uh, go over pricing and stuff. Um, now, we've just adjusted our pricing about a month or two ago for the first time in four years. Uh, because silver prices went, you know, kind of crazy, <laughs> kind of, you know, over the past year. I think it was like 60% increase over the past, you know, couple months. Um now, <laughs> with that whole, uh, you know, crazy uh, Games GameStop, Robinhood uh, stock manipulation thing, now they're uh, jumping on the commodities market, and silver seems to be one of their um, uh, one of their targets. So there's a lot of crazy pricing happening right now. Silver has gone up, uh, you know, crazy uh, thing. Luckily. Um, you know, in a, in a lucky twist, um, and this actually segues nicely into something I'm going to talk about in a minute. Uh, our factory is closed now. Uh, closed last Friday was the last day for um, New Year's, uh, Lunar New Year and Spring Festival. Uh, then they're closed for the whole month. They're closed. Uh, they reopen again at the beginning of March. So, um, luckily... You know, we're not having to buy silver to cast a bunch of stuff because the production is closed down. So right now, while things are really volatile and, you know, crazy, you know, we're able to keep prices, you know, steady. Um, you know, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, I read one article they were talking about uh, silver maybe going up to $50 an ounce again, which, uh, whew, <laughs> if that happens, you know, I mean, I guess it's good for us because, you know, we already have some product you know, already, or a lot of product already made, um, but future product, you know, might, yeah, might be a problem. Um, but you can't worry about that kind of stuff when you're in this kind of business. Uh, you'll go mad trying to worry about, you know, commodities prices and stuff. You just deal with what it is, uh, with what it is when you, when you get it and, uh, and you move on. Um, if you, uh, just a little bit of housekeeping before we get on to the uh, things, uh, you know, if you, same as always, if you share the video, um, uh, you'll get 10% off uh, of the regular prices. Uh, and that's if you're not already a member of a lapidary club or a, a metalsmithing club, uh, which if you are, you automatically get 10% uh, discount uh, lapidary clubs, you know, you know things. Uh, so just let us know. We need to get your credentials for that. Um, also, if you share this video, um, you know, we'll send you one of these little polishing cloths. You know, beautiful little polishing. You can never have too many of those. Um, don't wash them. I know I say this every time. Uh, <laughs> but people, you know, they get, the, you know, they work with them a little bit. And then, oh, it's so dirty. Let me throw it in the wash. It's like, oh, don't throw it in the wash because those chamois uh, are impregnated with a chemical that helps uh, uh, unbind the copper and the oxygen, which is the cupric oxide or tarnish that's on the surface of the thing. And if you wash them, they'll still be really great for, you know, I guess, removing dust, but they won't uh, uh, work as well, getting the tarnish off your pieces. Um if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know, uh, let us know. We're always available. Uh, so many ways to get a hold of us. Um, 
uh, <laughs> as far as uh, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about shipping uh, this week because it's all bad. <laughs> it's just bad. Uh, it's just bad everywhere. If you're not paying for free premium freight, uh, you'll you'll get it when you get it. Um, <laughs> nobody's doing well. But again, I don't want to dwell on the bad things. Um, if you're ordering uh, custom stuff, you know, I mentioned that the, uh, the the factory right now is closed for a month. Uh, if you had plans to do that, you can still do that. You could still put in your custom orders. Uh, and in fact, it, it might be uh, advisable to do so for one reason. The, um, the people who do the... Um, 3D uh, CAD models that we ultimately use to print the resin prototype that gets cast. Um, we can we can make those people work from home <laughs> uh, during the month. So uh, you know we can still get that aspect of it done. And you know the sooner you get that done, and if you pay in advance for your things, you know you'll get uh, into the production schedule much sooner than you otherwise would. And, uh, you know, there's already, you know, quite a few orders that are building up. So when they reopen again in March, they're going to be super busy. And, um, you know, if you want to get guaranteed a place in the earliest uh, production uh, runs, um, you know, the sooner the better. So uh, even though we won't be producing your pieces until March, you know, the sooner you get in, the better. Uh, I guess. So we're still doing that. We're still, you know, uh, uh, cobbling together. Uh, but there's one that I'm working on right now that's uh, very gorgeous. Lots of stones. Um, yeah. So we, we do the, got lots of those. Uh, I think that's it. Let me uh, start with the tray. The first one down here. What am I doing there? Our first item today is a lovely pendant, butterfly pendant with some cubic zirconias in the wings and a little uh, garnet for the eyeball. I think. MTP 1218 for a 7x9mm stone. Uh, retail price is $20.07 and the wholesale price is twelve fifty five. Let me get that stone out of there so you can get it. So it's a basket, so it's good for a cut stone uh, or a cabochon because of good good size uh, prongs on there. Uh, I like that big open um, setting, big open cage. These are all, uh, all of these pendants are all new, 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 like... Um, uh, I don't even think most of these are on the website yet. Uh, I know that we've taken pictures of them and we're just working on processing them, but um, MTP1219 for a 5mm round um, something. Cabochon or cutstone will work in there. I think it's, I think probably it looks like it would be nicer with a cutstone in there, but <laughs> I had a, I had a lot, nice little uh, tiger's eye cab that fits in there beautifully, so that's what you get for the display one. MTP 1219 for a 5 millimeter round. 1785 is the retail price, and 1115 is the wholesale price. I could pull that stone out, and you can see that, or maybe not. Whatever, you get an idea. Uh, it's just a you know, nice tall basket, so a cut stone works beautifully in there. With those uh, uh, rays coming up to chevrons of cubic zirconias around making the corners. Just a lovely piece. Very three-dimensional. Um, gorgeous. MTP1220 for a 7x9 millimeter uh, cabochon or cut stone. This has got one of those hybrid seats. Um, good size prongs for cabs. Uh, and, you know... Not a very super deep basket, but a deep enough basket. You could put a cut stone in there, definitely. Uh, rows of cubic zirconias and the ribbons in the bottom, and the one little cubic zirconia up at the top. Um, that just a classic slim uh, soldered loop and bail. Our next item MTP 1221 for an 8x10 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone. 
uh, retail price is twenty-five thirty-two, and the wholesale price is fifteen eighty-two. And uh, this, I don't know, I just love this style of things. I know it's kind of like, uh, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a hybrid of a very classic and a postmodern sort of look with all the scroll work and the 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 scrolls kind of terminating in these big uh, uh, cubic zirconias in there. I just love that. Uh, kind of like uh, I don't know what to call it. I love it. I just love that almost gothic look. MTP one two 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 for a seven by nine millimeter cabochon or cut stone. Uh, retail price twenty two oh two, and the wholesale price thirteen seventy seven. And um, this looks kind of like a I don't know a double rope. Uh, knot, rope knot up at the top there, with uh, one r r rope has cubic zirconias and the other is plain. Very cute, very uh, three-dimensional design. Our next one is a, oops, some stone fell out. I think that I didn't have the exact size of stone, but this is kind of close. Anyway, MTP1223. For a 10 by 14 millimeter oval cabochon uh, or cut stone, uh, retail price 26.26, and the wholesale price is 16.41. Um, I love that the, you know that rococo effect here with all these little scrolly things up around the the border. Um, lots of cubic zirconias, lots of bling. Notice how um, lovely that the bale is, right? With that big cubic zirconia in the in the middle. Uh, with a row all the way around the outside, you know, it's a good uh, basket uh, depth. So, um, you know, cut stone would work beautifully in here. Uh, the prongs are good size, so you could definitely put a cab in there. Um, and that's yeah, just lovely. I love those things. Here's a cute little whimsical pendant because everybody needs a little whimsy these days. <laughs> MTP 1224 for a 7x9 millimeter oval cabochon or a cut stone. Uh, retail price 1560 and the wholesale price is 975. And this is a little pig. See the little pig head face? Cute little piggy. Uh, MTP 1225 for a 7x9 millimeter oval cabochon or a cut stone uh, either will work uh, I think a cut stone would look nicer in here than a cabochon but I have a cab the prongs are not super tall so um, right but it's got that hybrid seat with the bevel in the top so I think it's ostensibly designed for a cut stone but you could definitely put a cab in there as you saw the one I had in there it would definitely fit um, cubic zirconias in a couple of places with accents just uh very nice. Oh, we've got a lot of similar to that style. MTP 1226 for a 6x8 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone. Retail price is 1247 and the wholesale price is 779. Um, just, you know, cute, classic, very simple, very basic. This again is one of those uh, look at my stone. You know, as opposed to some big, you know, uh, thing like this, where this is more, look at my cool pendant. Oh, that also has a stone in it, right? Uh, <laughs> which I kind of like, because I come from more of a silversmithing uh, background than a lapidary background, but love the stone stone. Here's a MTP1227 for a 6 millimeter round stone. Uh, I put a cab in there, but a cut stone would definitely work. Um, retail price fourteen oh four. Wholesale price is eight seventy eight. Uh, it's got a, you know, kind of a not a very deep uh, basket, but deep enough for a six millimeter stone. Cut stone would fit in there beautifully. Um, let me get that out of there. Right, lovely kind of teardrop with a row of cubic zirconias up at the top. Can't go wrong. Right, just very classic, very clean, very simple, elegant. MTP 1228 for a 6x8 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone. 
retail price eighteen fifty four and wholesale price eleven fifty eight. Um, so this along this kind of a ribbon effect where it's folded over, right? The row of cubic zirconies in the bottom, and then the folds on the side. Let me get the stone out of there. You maybe see a little better. Um, terminating in a cubic zirconia up at the top, and the the relatively tall bale, right, makes kind of a fashion statement just in a, of itself. And the the loop is in the bottom of the bale. It's not soldered to the piece, right? So the piece itself. Uh, dangles from the loop at the bottom of the bale as opposed to the bale hanging from a loop in the top of the piece. I know that sounds semantics, but it does make a difference. It makes this, uh, there's quite a bit more um, movement in this. So definitely it's a, more of an eye catcher um, than something that would if it didn't move as much. MTP1229 um, for a six millimeter round cut stone. Um, Maybe a cabochon. Um, retail price sixteen thirty four. Wholesale price ten twenty two. And uh, I just love this. Um, golly, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> uh, I just love how the, the seat itself or the basket itself is kind of dangling, you know, right, separate. And there's a cubic zirconia right up at the top of that. It's just a very cute um, shape. Perfectly encircling the, the the cage, or I guess the the seat, the, the basket, right? With the cute little cubic zirconia up at the top of the bale. Right. Our next one is MTP one two three zero for a seven by nine millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone. Uh, retail price twenty one eighteen and wholesale price thirteen twenty three, and uh, of course it's a little cute little kitty meow. And the stone, I guess, is a, it's a little bit smaller than the the setting you know should be, but uh, it's got a nice deep basket, right? So it's ostensibly designed for a cut stone, which I think would work gorgeous in here. Um, the body has a cute little heart pierced in it, and uh, pave style cubic zirconia all the way on the inside of the body. For the cat lovers out there, um, <laughs> we've got a bunch of uh, uh, cat-themed pieces in the next tray, which uh, is going to blow your mind. You're going to go mad when you see those. MTP1231 for an 8mm uh, round cut stone or cabochon. Uh, retail price $16.93. Wholesale price $10.58. Uh, just, again, classic simple drop, right, uh, uh, frame that's holding that round setting in there. Uh, so when you're looking at it, all you're seeing is that beautiful round stone with uh, the row of cubic zirconias against the bottom. Very simple heart. Get that stone out. I put a cut stone in there because I had one that fit, and gosh, any chance I get to put a cut stone in there is, uh, is a good day. Our next one. Is this gorgeous uh, multi heart piece, right? One heart is cubic zirconias, another one is plain. Uh, the setting is kind of nestled in between them. I didn't set that, I just kind of laid the stone in there. Uh, I love that big, you know, cubic zirconia up at the top on the bale, uh, and then the swooping, you know, round bale. Is that going to work? Oh, let it sit there. Maybe not, I'll just get rid of it. Uh, MTP 1232 for an 8x10mm cabochon or cut stone. Uh, retail price $26.52. Uh, wholesale price $16.58. Um, I love these. Yeah, this last shipment that we got, there were a lot of settings that have, uh, you know, lots of cubic zirconias uh, in them. Lots more bling, I think. Uh, is how it was described to me. MTP 1233 for a 10 by 14 millimeter pair cabochon or cut stone. Retail price 1535 and the wholesale price is 959. And let me just get this out of the way so you can see this is a, it's got that single uh, chevron. Don't oh, know, that's a double prong. No, it's a single prong chevron uh, with the double prongs at the bottom. Right, they're pretty good sized prongs, so anything a cab or a cut stone will fit in there. Lovely, uh, 
uh, floral fauna accents, I guess. Here's another uh, spiritual cousin of that other little kitty with the, the heart in his uh, thing, right? Only this one has a more traditional basket setting as the head for a 7 by 9 millimeter oval. This is MTP1234, a retail price of 1921 and the wholesale price of 1201 And uh, so I guess that's a cat. Oh, yeah, because of the tail. I was going to say maybe that could be like a little Yorkie kind of bark, bark. But it's definitely the, not a <laughs> Yorkie tail. That's a cat tail. And the little pointy ears. Uh, yes. Cute. Here's one. Kind of a cool one. Um, I like that the stone doesn't really fit in here. But I wanted to show you something. because Just because this is such a cool setting. MTP1235 for a 10 by 14 millimeter pear shaped cab or cut stone. Retail price is $20.64. Wholesale price is twelve ninety one, and uh, this I just love. This is a bird, obviously, an eagle. You can make it whatever you want, I guess. Uh, uh, and the body is, you know, the the, the is a pear shaped stone, you know, upside down, um, or I guess not really upside down. It can be whatever you want, uh, but again, nice deep basket, so you can put a cabochon or a cut stone in there. Uh, it's got that chevron top, so cut stones with a big pavilion are probably better uh, in this than not. Um, cube, little cubic zirconias uh, coming down uh, from the tail feathers, and you can see his little feet holding onto a branch down at the bottom, right? And of course, the head, uh, pave style cubic zirconias all the way at the top. Very cute, very interesting setting, the way that stone sits. Uh, what would traditionally be considered upside down, but I don't really consider that upside down. It's just a different way to look at it. Um, very cool. I think if you had like a, I don't know, it would, this would look great with like, a, I know this doesn't fit, but with like a turquoise, I think in there. Very, very southwest. <laughs> very, uh, yeah. Uh, but don't put a turquoise in there and then say it's from the southwest because that would just be wrong. MTP 1236 for a 7 by 9 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone with a retail price 1469 and the wholesale price of 919. These have got a nice deep basket, right? So I think ostensibly this is designed for a uh, cut stone, um, but you could definitely put a cabochon in there. Uh, the prongs are a good size, right? Cute little knot work with a cubic zirconia up at the top and a standard soldered bale here's one that uh, seems like it's a little bit out of place with all the other <laughs> ovals but um, MTP 1237 for a 10 by 14 millimeter baguette rectangle um, Retail price is sixteen fifty eight, and the wholesale price is ten thirty six. Now these uh, prongs, right? They all have the little notches uh, in them, so you could definitely get away with this. Uh, doesn't matter if it's the kind of square that has pointy corners or have beveled corners. Now, obviously, beveled corners will work better in this kind of a setting, um, you know, because the the pavilion would sit in the basket. These push over onto the uh, onto the beveled corners, and and that's it. It's a little bit trickier when it's pointy corners because the stone has to be just a hair smaller uh, for the very points of the corners to fit in there. And then you just have to be a little more careful pushing these prongs over onto the corners. Uh, you just have to get a little bit of material inside the perimeter of the stone to hold that in there. If it's a if it's a cut stone with a pavilion that goes down into the basket, right? If it's a cabochon, it's a whole bunch of uh, different, um, you know, potential issues. If it were a cab, I would say definitely it would need to be uh, beveled corners. Um, pointy corners, uh, just... Uh, having the corners inside the prongs as the only means of holding this in is, uh, you know, secure, but if you bash it really hard, uh, the stone, you know, could be, you know, pulled out because there's nothing underneath that's uh, holding the stone in, if that makes sense. Anyway, cute uh, little um, leaves up at the top with some cubic zirconias and that fluted bale, which I quite love. Here's another one, MTP1238 
for a 10 millimeter round cabochon or cut stone retail price is 24.14 and the wholesale price is 15.09 this has a cute little butterfly uh, as the bale right with a big cubic zirconia in there a stylized butterfly and uh, uh, kind of a halo ring of uh, cubic zirconias around the outside of the uh, seat and the seat is just a traditional you know cabochon seat it's got these double prongs right uh, on here which are you know more um, I don't know they're almost more uh, cosmetic than anything else they don't you know specifically add more uh, security than regular prong would uh, I just think they look very cool right I don't know if that's not in focus All right so when you push that over onto your stone they got those double prongs in there it's very cool MTP 1239 for a 7x9 millimeter oval. Uh, retail price 2076. Wholesale price 1297. And uh, it's just a glorious money bag, <laughs> right? With the bale incorporated into the design at the top of the bag um, with rows of cubic zirconias around both sides. There's another take on that. Uh, I don't know if it's not. It's just an, an oval. But I, to me, I always look at this and I think it's a money bag. Look at the big bag of money. The <laughs> cartoon money bags. Uh, our next one is a glorious MTP1240 for a 12 by 14 millimeter oval cabochon uh, or cut stone with a retail price of 28.54 and the wholesale price of 17.84 and, and look at this it's just crazy uh, so many crazy uh, um, designs that are mirrored right on one side or the other um, you know with these fishes here um, a little spiral little butterfly flower it's just so much stuff in here it's so cool um, we don't have many that are um, so, um, uh, what's the way to describe it? So intentionally um, uh, asymmetrical. Anyway, we've got this lovely uh, uh, bale with that uh, Chinese luck. Is it luck? I think it's luck. Or it's you know stylized version of that. Anyway, right? Is that? Let me see. The bail on the top of that, or it's just something. It's just something. <laughs> it's just something. And another, we have another. Uh, we have a a pinch bail with something similar to that, which is uh, I always get told it's it's luck. So, which they could be telling me anything. They could be saying, "Oh, Mark, it's your name on here." <laughs> Which, which it'll say, you know, dummy or something. MTP 1241 for a 7 by 9 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone. Uh, retail price 28.93. Wholesale price is 18.07. Uh, this cute little um, fox, is it a fox? Panther? Something? Some kind of a cat or something? It's not a fox. It's a cat. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Although he's got some really weird split tail there, so I don't know what that is. It's kind of weird uh, dragon thing. Uh, lovely, cute little cubic zirconia uh, inverted bale, right? Just, I don't know what to say about this. It's a panther? It's panther. Our next item, MTP1252. For a 7 by 9 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone, uh, retail price is 1927. Wholesale price is 1204. Uh, did I say 7 by 9? I did. Um, again, cute, simple, uh, right? Kind of inverted drop frame with some cubic zirconia accents on the bottom and leaves up up at the top. Uh, very simple. Very. Uh, I don't know, very cute. I don't know how else to say it, right? Can't go wrong. Here's, uh, oh, and I wish I had more pair samples to show you on these uh, things, because this, these are gorgeous. MTP1253 for an 8 by 10 millimeter pear-shaped stone. Uh, retail price 19.90. Wholesale price is 12.44. 
um, I just love this kind of really interesting framework, almost, um, uh, I think, feel like, a, you know, Peruvian clouds. You know, have you ever seen those kind of uh, patterns? Anyway, neither here nor there. Uh, what the influence of the design is. Uh, it's just lovely little spiral with the cubic zirconias. It's got a nice uh, deep uh, basket, right? So cut stone would work beautifully in here. Uh, good sized prongs, so a cabochon would work in there uh, nicely. Um, just whatever you can put in there that would fit uh, would work. Our next one is a cute little dainty, and I hope that stone stays in there because it's not really set. Obviously, I just kind of put them in there, lay them in there. There we go. MTP1254. For a 5 by 7 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone, uh, retail price is $12.54. Wholesale price is 5 by... Uh, <laughs> retail price is $14.60 and the wholesale price is $9.13. And uh, right, so this is a lovely swan or a goose. No, it's a swan. Uh, with the wings and cubic zirconias and uh, another and a little garnet for the eyeball on the top of that. Gorgeous, cute, classic. Our next one. Oh, lost my stone. Uh, MTP 1263 for a 6x8 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone. Retail price is 1814. Wholesale price is 1134. Uh, again, nice big bale, right? To give you some uh, interesting things to, uh, to contrast. As opposed to having something that's uh, it's almost as big as uh, the the whole setting, um, which is just an inverted or it's just a kind of like a teardrop with cubic zirconias in the bottom, right? Again, nice deep basket, uh, so a cab or a cut stone would work in there. Uh, it's got that beautiful hybrid seat that I love so much. That's so versatile. Um, the next one. We've got MTP1256 for a 6x8 millimeter cut stone or cabochon. Uh, retail price is $16.99 and the wholesale price is $10.62. Uh, I put a cab in here just so you can get an idea what it looks like with the stone in there. I love how all of the little scrolly components kind of come away from the basket and it looks like they're spouting from behind the stone, which I mean, technically they are. Uh, but there's a seat in there it's got a nice deep basket and good sized prongs so boy any stone you put in there would work great uh, and i love the the bale with the piercings uh, you know in the top kind of continuing the same uh, motif in the bottom with uh, you know cubic zirconias and little curly cues all the way around very neat this one, uh, God, I love this. We've got a couple of, of pendants like this with uh, that are just uh, filigree, uh, you know, Rococo elements all the way around the outside uh, with cubic zirconias in the top and the bottom. This has got a pretty deep uh, basket, so uh, ostensibly I think it's designed for a cut stone, but I had a cab that actually fit in there, a little uh, Labradorite cab. Um, yeah, it's... Right. The uh, bale is incorporated into the design, right? So it's all one piece. Just gorgeous. MTP1265 for a 6x8 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone. Uh, retail price is $18.30 and wholesale price is $11.44. Um, what else to say about this, right? Just lovely, uh, sinewy... Uh, very three-dimensional kind of piece, right? Um, I think it's probably ostensibly designed for a cab, but uh, the back of that pendant, uh, uh, the back of the seat, I should say, is far enough away from the back of the pendant that you could definitely put a cut stone in there without worrying about it uh, scraping on your chest and uh, irritating you that way. Uh, it's just lovely. MTP1259 for an 8 by 10 millimeter pear shaped uh, cabochon or cut stone. Retail price is $23.88 and the wholesale price is $14.92. Uh, 
Um, and this just has rows of cubic zirconias. Actually, the inside halo only is cubic zirconias. The outside one is just, uh, it's kind of like that faux twisty wire thing. It's not quite mill grain texture, but it's that twisty wire frame. Uh, and, the re and the heart, the pave heart at the top of the cubic zirconia and the cubic zirconia's bale. Again, lots of bling in this one. This is one of those things that uh, definitely, no matter what you put in there, will draw your eye into the stone in the middle. It's got a good size basket, so uh, cut stone works in here. Good size prong, so um, cabs too. It's got the single um, notched prong in the top, and uh, it's not even a chevron. It's just a notched prong in the top. Um, so you got to have a pointy uh, top, uh, you know, with your stone. Uh, if it's a cut stone, you can maybe get away with the top uh, point not being so pointy, because the pavilion uh, holds, you know, falls into the seat and holds the stone in place. As long as these do two prongs on the bottom and the one on the top uh, hold the stone down, um, they won't be the stone won't be able to shift, you know. Uh, at an angle or something because it's in the seat and the seat is holding it in place. If it's a cabochon, it's got to have a pointy tip uh, to be held in by the notch inside that little uh, prong. Right. Just something to consider when you're going to set something in that uh, gorgeous, gorgeous pendant. Uh, here's another one that's just... I oh, just love this. Um, <laughs> I just love big, big stones. Uh, MTP1260 for a 10 by 12 millimeter uh, rectangular stone, baguette, emerald cut, whatever you want to call it. Um, probably beveled corners, again, always work better, I find. Uh, but pointy corners will definitely work in here. Oops. These have uh, the, the notched uh, prongs, right, in, in, with the notches inside them. So the corners uh, of the points sit inside those little prongs. Um, cabochon would work in here. But I think you really want to have a cut stone in here uh, to show off the grandeur of this piece. I just love all these little settings around the outside, around the border of this, with all these oval um, cubic zirconias. And the row of rows of cubic zirconias around the outside of the seat and the pave-style bale. That is just so much bling for your buck, it's not even funny. Again, MTP 1260 for a 12 by or a 10 by 12 millimeter uh, rectangular. Um, cut stone ostensibly uh, retail price forty dollars and fifty cents wholesale price twenty five dollars and thirty one uh, cents. This is one of my favorite new ones. Um, although my absolute absolute favorites are coming up pretty <laughs> pretty soon, and they're like oh my god cool. Uh, MTP one two six one for a ten by thirteen millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone, uh, retail price twenty nine thirty three and the wholesale price eighteen thirty three. Um, I just love how these it, it looks like a kind of Celtic ovals that are like interwoven in each other almost, very three dimensional, very uh, so many places for your eyes to go when you're looking at this piece. Um, it's got, you know, one uh, oval in one direction that's kind of smooth and another oval in another direction that are intertwi intertwined. Uh, and this one has cubic zirconias all the way around the outside. And there are, there are other uh, accents that hint at other um, oval sections, uh, other plain ones, other cubic zirconia ones with the seat just in the middle. Uh, right on the stone. Again, this stone isn't exactly the right size for that. It's a little bit smaller than the setting. Um, but I just wanted you to, to show you one with a seat, uh, with a stone in the seat, uh, so you can see what it looks like. Gorgeous. Just love this. MTP1262 for a 12 by 17 millimeter pear-shaped stone. Uh, cabochon or cut stone will work great in here. I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, retail price is $19.88 and the wholesale price is $12.42. Uh, very simple. It's got kind of like a diamond and then chevron uh, uh, motif at the top. Uh, simple kind of frame with a row of cubic zirconias in the bottom. A uh, nice deep basket with good sized prongs. Now the reason why this would work beautifully for whatever you put in here, a cab or a cut stone, is the prongs are a good size. But also at the top it has these double prongs, right? So the point of the cab, 
or cut stone will go you know up inside there and you could push these over onto either side it almost works like a regular four prong uh, oval uh, setting or a round setting um, uh, this will hold the stone in in every direction kind of thing so even if you don't have the pavilion of the stone holding it in place by sinking down into the pavilion um, uh, which would be like amazingly secure you can definitely get away with doing a, you know putting a cab in there uh, and it doesn't matter what kind of uh, point you have. If it's pointy or if it's a little bit curved, uh, it'll all work. Really super versatile uh, setting. Now, this next few pieces, I love them. This is maybe not your cup of tea, or maybe it is. Maybe you're dying right now. You can't believe it. Um, I know I couldn't when I saw them. I thought these are awesome. Um MTP 1258 for a 10 by 13 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone uh, with a retail price of 5105 and a wholesale price of 3190 and uh, just put a cab in there but I can pull that out so you can see what it looks like just with the seat on obviously it's a jaguar's head with a lovely um, emerald probably cubic zirconia uh, uh, as an eyeball with pave style all the way around uh, you know his head I just love that and the big oval frame really super and uh, because you can't have enough Panthers <laughs> <laughs> we've got this other one uh, and this oh God, I wish I had a stone to, to, to that fit in here that uh, thing because um, I don't even have one I could pretend to put in here uh, it just looks great. The the prongs are. Well, let me just go over the particulars. MTP one two six four for a twenty three ish millimeter uh, oval or sorry twenty three millimeter round uh, cabochon. It's got to be a cabochon, uh, obviously. Uh, although I guess theoretically, if you wanted to be brave, you could snip here and there and remove this part of the frame, uh, and then put a cut stone in there. It would have to be a pretty shallow cut stone because. Uh, the basket is not super deep for this big of a setting. Uh, and if you put a cut stone in there, the culet might extend past the back of that, you know, into the, you know, the back. So that if it's sitting on your uh, chest, you know, the, 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 the culet might scrape against you. Uh, anyway, retail price is one hundred two thirty, and the wholesale price is $63.93. And, uh, and it's just gorgeous, uh, you know, full body 3D uh, panther um, perched up at the top of your stone, um, all of pave, right? A lot of settings. I don't know. A lot of setting. Yeah, this this is you know super amounts of labor, yeah. uh, you know, on these because obviously these are are not cast with the stones in place, right? The stones are all you know set after the fact, um, and uh, I will say that from uh, my years as a men's jeweler. And uh, way back in the dark ages when I was learning stone setting, pave was the one that uh, was the most, it's the most work of all of them. Uh, I think channel setting is probably the trickiest to get, to make it look right, to keep all the stones level. Uh, but pave is definitely the most work. Um, and uh, golly, even with the seats already, you know, made in or when it's cast you know putting all those stones in there and setting them all in there uh god what a pain what a horrible <laughs> just tons of tons of labor um but once you put a stone in there uh golly yeah you won't be able to take your eye off it uh and again uh, <laughs> more pave cats MTP 1255 for a 10 by 12 millimeter oval cabochon uh, or a cut stone retail price 8165 and the wholesale price is 5104 and um, this looks more like a cheetah than uh, a leopard to me uh, but I guess it could be a house cat if he's uh, you know dangerous uh, enough uh, let me get that pop that stone out of there Right, it's got a good uh, size basket seat, uh, good size prongs. So um, I think a stone that's that small, usually the uh, the pavilion isn't so deep that that would extend too far past the, the end of that basket. Um, and again, just lovely pave all the way around. 
very three-dimensional, um, tons of labor. Uh, when I think about how long it would take me to set all of those stones in there, um, uh, I, I'm glad I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> uh, and now we, we have a couple of... Um, the last four in this tray are all uh, pearl settings. And when we say pearl settings, we mean uh, just because traditionally these are you know made more for pearls, but uh, you can put any stone that is half-drilled, partially drilled uh, stone in there. Uh, MTP. One two six six with a retail price of twenty nine sixteen and the wholesale price of eighteen twenty one. But Mark, you ask, what size stone goes in there? There's no listing for the stone. That's because the uh, uh, so let me just think. So it's a cute little fox, obviously, uh, with the tail uh, env enveloping this little uh, uh, cup and post. I don't know if you can see the post in there, right? Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Um, the post is where you would glue, um, you know, a pearl, a half-drilled pearl or a half-drilled stone. And so clearly on this seat, um, uh, on this cup, you could put anything from as small as a three, maybe a four millimeter pearl up to a, a much bigger one, probably eight or nine millimeter pearl, I think would be the biggest you could get away with on that. That might be a little bit too big maybe seven millimeters. Um, so uh, there isn't really, a, you know, you must put a four millimeter pearl in there. You can get away with lots of different uh, variations on these because the, you know, depending on the curvature of the pearl um, and the pearl cement you use, it's just going to sit in there beautifully and just inhaled in there. And yeah, those have to be, uh, you know, glued in. Uh, uh, we always recommend using a good two-part epoxy um, that you can get at, uh, you know, any good jewelry supply. Um, you can get the, um, what they call pearl cement, but that's a single glue and, and, and sometimes it works. Um, but it's not as good as a good two part epoxy. Um, here's another one, MTP 1267, uh, with a retail price of 1652 and the wholesale price of 1032. And this is, um, uh, I guess a dragon, you know, head. Although, you know what this reminds me more of is you ever seen those uh, seahorses that are really, really super uh, front, they have fronds all over the place? This looks like one of those, a stylized one of those. But uh, again, uh, this has a cup and peg. I don't know if you can see the peg in there, right? Uh, it's at the bottom of this kind of a flowery thing. This obviously, once your pearl is set in there, uh, the little flowery thing would be visible from the back, but not from the front. Uh, and this uh, probably 6 millimeter to 10 millimeter pearls probably would fit in there. I'm just guessing. That's just off the top of my head. I'm sure you could you know, come up with other stuff um, to put in there. Here's one MTP 1268 for uh, 1895 is the retail price and 1184 is the wholesale price. Uh, this is just a, you know lovely little teardrop right with the bale incorporated into the design, rows of cubic zirconias around the the bottom with the rays, uh, and that cup and peg. Right, you can see the peg there. Uh, to glue your pearl on there. You could also, uh, on these ones that have the solid cup, you could um, snip that uh, peg off, um, you know, file it down with a little polishing burr or something, and then fill that with uh, resin, you know. Uh, I think if you're doing that commemorative, commemoration jewelry, you know, these kind of things. All of the, the pearl pendants... Uh, Oh, golly, which we didn't do any of those, did we? We'll have to come back and do those after we're done with these. Um, you know, a lot of those will definitely work for that kind of thing. And and I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about people using resin, and I'm sort of getting obsessed with it. It's kind of awesome uh, how many cool things uh, you can do with it. Um, and I know it's becoming very popular now, so uh, I'll try to remember that every time I find a, a setting that... that uh, would work naturally with um, resin to let you know. Uh, here's another one, MTP 1269, with a retail price of 1628 and the wholesale price of 1017. And uh, this is obviously just a bumblebee, right, with the bale being one of the uh, wings. Uh, that cup and peg, I don't know if you can see, oh, you can see that beautifully there, right? 
Captain Peg being the head uh, that we glue on there. Obviously, the size of the body and the eyeballs here will determine how big of a pearl you can get in there. I haven't measured that, but just off the top of my head, it looks like probably 8 millimeter is about the biggest pearl or stone you could put in there. Um, very nice. Okay, last tray. We've got this one, uh, cap, MTP1158, and uh, I don't really have anything to put in there, but just, I don't know if you can see, imagine something, <laughs> but that doesn't really work right. Uh, MTP1158, uh, and the opening is 8 millimeters wide, although once you get something that's pretty close, you could probably um, lightly push this closed, with maybe with a rawhide mallet or a nylon mallet. Uh, retail price is thirty seventy six, and the wholesale price is nineteen twenty three. You could glue uh, multi strands uh, in there, something. Boy, it'd be nice if there were a a metal bar in there that you can string through. But uh, just great. This is more of a pendant though than a a necklace piece. But cool, um, you know, uh, scrolly winds. Uh, um, Winds and wave patterns, right? Very stylized piece, very gorgeous. Um, you know what? I have another one of these that is just a little bit further down in the tray that I'm just going to bring this up now. Here's another uh, one, similar idea, MTP1168, uh, 6 millimeter wide opening by a 10 millimeter long opening with a retail price of 3011 and the wholesale price of 1881 and these are pretty thick so I don't know how easy it would be to you know hammer those down but just you, know, you can get an idea of what it looks like with something glued in there um, right. obviously that's not something you would absolutely actually glue in there because uh, that's a flat cap but anyway neither here nor there okay uh, MTP 1159 for a 24 by 39 millimeter oval, um, no, pear-shaped cabochon. Um, and again, this would have to be a cab. This obviously doesn't fit. It just give you an idea, you know, what it looks like, right? When the stone's up in there, that's covers there. And this up at the bottom, once you've glued your stone inside that bevel uh, or that bezel, uh, you could push these... Um, Margosite flame sort of effects, you know, down onto the stone. Uh, I just love that, uh, you know, Margosite with the mill grain texture in the, up in the bale and on the flames on the bottom and at the top. Right? Just very gorgeous. Here's one. Oops, the ribbon broke on that. I love this kind of brushed silvery look, right? Uh, it, and it's got some kind of good. Uh, uh, MTP 1160 for a 25 by 25 millimeter uh, cushion cut uh, cabochon. Uh, retail price 3507. Wholesale price is 2192. And uh, I love the juxtaposition of uh, you know that that just the uh, uh, sort of brushed, um, almost tarnished you know the antique look of the silver around the outside and the nice shiny little cubic zirconias in there very cute with uh lovely rose up at the top that is uh incorporated in the bale right the pattern is all you know, put in there right. see that very cute very gorgeous here's another more traditional mtp 1161 for a seven by nine millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone uh, with a retail price of fifteen fifty seven and a wholesale price of nine seventy four, um, right? Lovely chevrons, cubic zirconias in the bottom, right all the way around. Very classic, very cute. Um, here's one that I did have a stone that almost fit perfectly. Uh, MTP one one six two for an eighteen by twenty nine millimeter uh, pear shaped cab. 1977 is a retail price. Wholesale price is 12.35. And uh, again, we have a lot of these uh, mm -hmm. kind of rounds uh, 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 cabs that do this, um, right? So the the seat, the setting, right? I don't know if you can see that. You can see how it just doesn't exactly fit. I think my stone is maybe like a millimeter too 
um, wide for this setting, but it still works. Um, right, so that would get glued onto the back, and uh, just this lovely, you know, flowery um, um, frame, I guess, holding onto the, the, you know, the one side, and uh, some little grapes up the top with some seeds. Right? So this is definitely one of those things if you've got a, you know, a cab that uh, is beautiful, but not, you know, you don't want to be obsessed with all of the, uh, you know, the different lines and, you know, inclusions in the cab. Uh, this definitely shows off the cab without exposing too much of the cab, if that makes sense. Or if you have a blemish uh, in, you know, one side around here, that definitely is a lovely thing to hide that. I love that effect. Uh, here's another one that's kind of a spiritual cousin of this, uh, you know, square one. It's the same concept, same idea, very, um, uh, I don't know, the, God, the, these, it's almost Roger Dean expire, inspired, uh, you know, uh, border around the outside. Uh, this is MTP 1163 for a 27 millimeter, uh, triangular cabochon. Uh, retail price twenty seven eighty two, wholesale price seventeen thirty nine, um, and again, yeah, I just uh, love these um, lines with the flowers, cubic zirconias up at the top. Definitely uh, an eye catcher. Here's a little more traditional uh, MTP one one six four for a seventeen by twenty two millimeter oval cabochon. Uh, Retail price twenty five oh nine, wholesale price is fifteen sixty eight. Um, again, it's got to be an oval cab uh, to glue into that little bezel, right? Um, little scroll work with that mill grain texture here and this uh, uh, faux marcasite up at the top and the uh, in the bale and down at the bottom. Very antiquey looking, very uh, uh, classic, almost Victorian. All you Bridgerton fans out there. <laughs> uh, here's another uh, one that's kind of on that same line as the, uh, you know, that the sort of brushed um, uh, antique look. I just love this. Um, MTP 1165 for a 27 by 27 millimeter triangular cabochon. Retail price is $30.08. Uh, wholesale price is $18.80. And we've got these uh, just cubic zirconia set in a bunch of things, one in the middle of this flower, right? That's the tube set, and there's a bunch of little prong sets are all the way around here. Um, very gorgeous. This is definitely, it almost looks like a, it's a fabricated uh, setting. It looks like something that wouldn't be out of place, you know, in a, in a jewelry design school uh, final project. Very gorgeous. Very cool. Here's another one that uh, I wish I had a stone to put in there, uh, you know, to show you what you know the pattern would look like. Uh, let me see if I can cover it with this sort of a little bit. Right. Very gorgeous flowers. I uh, think again, uh, MTP one one six eight for a twenty six by forty two millimeter uh, uh, marquise shaped cabochon. Uh, I almost said by convex, but which is technically correct. Uh, retail price thirty six eighteen, and the wholesale price twenty two sixty one. Uh, I just love this kind of flowery, you know, things. Obviously, these wouldn't have to be here at all. You could definitely just glue the stone in there. But uh, once you glue the stone down in the bezel, these uh, flowers just create something to look at. Just very cool. Uh, nice big wide bale for you know your giant cording or, or whatever you want to put in there. Can't go wrong. Uh, here's another one. I think this is my favorite of this tray for sure. Um, and I'll put a stone in there just so you could see what it would look like with the stone in. Right. But again, this stone is not the right size for this uh, piece. Right. I would sit all the way up there. Uh, MTP one one six seven. Uh, for a 21 by 30 um, pear-shaped cab, retail price 36.70 and the wholesale price 22.93. Uh, I'm a sucker for goldfish, for koi, for whatever you know these these uh, things, these motifs that shows up. Uh, and I love the the garnet eyeballs and the, and the margasite you know inside the scales, that uh, filigree pierced uh, bale. 
the scroll work. Um, just this lovely silver um, curly cues right coming off the tail and the thing. This is an eye catcher for sure. That. Love that. Uh, I guess the rest now are all a little more traditional. Uh, MTP 1169 for a six millimeter uh, round cut stone or cabochon. Retail price is 13.44. Wholesale price is 8.40. And uh, this is just you know a round seat. Uh, it's a, a hybrid seat for a cabochon or a cut stone. It's got some pretty good sized prongs, right? So you know all but the super thickest cabs. You know when you get that small. Uh, you know, usually cabs are not super thick, but if they are, this will work. Uh, and it's got a good, you know, deep basket, so cut stones will work in here. Anything will work in here. Uh, and just got this cute little sunflower effect with the cubic zirconias in the petals all the way around the outside. And from that, we go to a much bigger round piece. MTP1170 for a 12.5 millimeter oval uh, round cabochon. Uh, it'd have to be a cab. You can't really put a cut stone in there. Um, there's no way to seat the stone, to set the stone once it's in there. Uh, retail price is twenty eighty four, and the wholesale price is thirteen oh three. And uh, I love this technique of uh, you know how it looks like it's a square piece of wire that's been twisted right and pulled around so you can follow one surface from the inside all the way around the outside around the thing in the inside uh, one surface has uh, set with cubic zirconias in there uh, very cute kind of a almost spirally very three-dimensional uh, looking piece um, not super thick but definitely thick enough oh thanks um, Uh, MTP1217 for an 8 by 10 millimeter pear shaped uh, cab or cut stone. Um, 1648 is retail price, $10.31 is the wholesale price. Uh, it's got a nice big open um, bale, very three dimensional, very good sized basket, good sized prongs. Uh, any stone will fit in there beautifully. It's got that lovely sort of uh, flame ish motif hinting uh, right with the row of cubic zirconias in there cannot go wrong here's another one MTP 1174 for an 8 millimeter round cabochon or cut stone uh, retail price is 1681 wholesale price is 1050 um, and this I don't know why but this to me this evokes uh, you know it's a compass it's a nautical thing, even though there's no nautical uh, things. I just feel like it's kind of a uh, that to me, you know, right? So just a plain round seat, uh, which will fit a cabochon or a cut stone beautifully uh, with a halo. It's kind of a square halo with the cardinal points, north, south, east, and west, uh, set inside another uh, uh, border. Very gorgeous, very three-dimensional. Uh, also, I love that fluted. Uh, bale up at the top. We should get more with those. That fluted bale. I love that bale. MTP 1173 for a 8 by 12 millimeter cabochon or cut stone. Retail price fourteen ninety five, and wholesale price is nine thirty five. And uh, this just gives this uh, look kind of like a school, very you know blocky, um, alternating squares and void spaces. Uh, let me just show you that without the things. So you can see that seat is nice and deep for a cut stone. Um, prongs are pretty good size for a cabochon. So, um, you know, kind of simple, but also um, very interesting to look at. Here's a cute one. Oh, I know I had a stone that fit in here. Um, MTP 1112 for a 4 by 6 millimeter oval cab or a cut stone. Retail price is $6.36 and the wholesale price is $4.24. Obviously, this is a cute little apple with a plain little soldered loop and bale uh, with the seat inside. I don't know, can't really say much more than that. It's very simple, very classic, very elegant, and uh, very tiny. Here's one, 
MTP1108 for a 3x5mm pair ca uh, cabochon or cutstone with a retail price of 707 and the wholesale price is 472 uh, It's got a simple soldered loop and bail. If you can get that stone out of there. Um, you can see it's got that, uh, it's kind of a chevron double prong, right? It's kind of like a mixture of both. It's a chevron, right? But it's kind of like two prongs that are uh, not quite next to each other. They're sort of formed like a triangle at the top. So if your prongs are, if you're, the tip of your uh, uh, cab isn't perfectly pointy, uh, will definitely still be secure in there, right? And the prongs are not super tall, so uh, be careful if you're going to put a cab in here. Cut stone is definitely the way to go with that, which is the sample that I had in there uh, at the beginning. We're moving on. I feel like we're going fast this week. It's good. Uh, MTP1119 for an 8 by 10 millimeter uh, oval cab or a cut stone. With a retail price of $9.93 and the wholesale price of $6.62. Uh, very simple, uh, classic basket uh, setting. So a cab or a cut stone, uh, anything will fit in there. Good size prongs. Uh, very simple, you know, cute little um, ribbons up at the top. Uh, the bail incorporated in, into the design. So just about anything will work for that. Um, MTP 552 for an 8 by 10 millimeter uh, oval cabochon. Um, let me see if I can. I don't really have one that will fit in that. Uh, retail price 1635 and the wholesale price is 1022. Uh, the top of the cab obviously would hide inside, you know, underneath that. Right. There are prongs in there, but. Uh, the leaf would definitely hold over the top of that. Again, this cab is just a hair smaller than, or a millimeter or so smaller than that. It's probably a 7x9 cab. And this is for an 8x10 millimeter. Uh, anyway, lovely leaves right at the top. Very simple, uh, classic design. Very cool. Here is one MTP1107 for a 10x12 millimeter uh, rectangular cabochon or cut stone retail price is 11.87 wholesale price is 7.92 and uh, this is just very minimalist very modern uh, very simple square bale uh, you know with a square basket no matter what direction you're looking at this it's all square this is very manly this is one of those things that if you're uh, uh, somebody's worried about oh, I know some of them I'm afraid it'll be too girly uh, there's no man that wouldn't wear that Right. Very cute. Uh, the the prongs, uh, I don't know if you could see, probably can't see, uh, have notches on the inside for the corners of uh, pointy uh, stone to get in there. Although, again, probably beveled corners would work better uh, than not on this. Anyway. Here's a MTP 561 for an 11 by 15 millimeter uh, oval cabochon or cut stone. Uh, retail price is fifteen sixty nine, and the wholesale price is nine eighty two. Uh, and again, this has got uh, you know the prongs. Uh, let me get that out of there. Right. These prongs are uh, kind of tabs almost, right? But they're sort of like triple rows, triple lines. It just gives you a very cool effect once those are uh, once your stone is in there, and that and those are that's not the stone that I had in there. Right, let's push that over onto the cat. It's just a very cool effect. Um, again, MTP 561 for an 11 by 15 millimeter cabochon. Uh, retail price is 15.69, and the wholesale price is 9.82. Uh, very simple, very classic. Uh, the cool thing about this is that that's all you'll see. Uh, you'll see the stone, and then you'll see those, um, you know, those uh, prongs over on the top. You don't see anything else except for the loop. And the bale hanging up the top when it's done. It's very, uh, very simple, very classic, very elegant. Can't go wrong. Um, here's one that oh, I don't have an exact shape uh, or exact size stone, but I did have a heart that was close. 
So I put it in there just to give you an idea what it looks like with the stone in there. It's so cute. Uh, anyway, MTP1109 for a 10 millimeter heart shaped stone. Uh, retail price is 1101 and the wholesale price is 733 And again, it's just a simple basket uh, with some prongs, um, soldered loop and bales. So when you're done, you don't see any of this. All you see is the, uh, the stone and uh, the hint of the prongs, uh, you know, onto the girdle holding the stone down in there. Um, very simple, very classic, very elegant. And I think now we've got, uh, off the top of my head, seven, eight... 9, 10, and 13 or 12 millimeter hearts pendants. Um, slowly but surely, we'll get one of every size in a heart. A uh, simple one. And this is the last one of the day, MTP 1117 for a 5 by 7 millimeter oval cabochon or cut stone. Uh, retail price of 693 and the wholesale price is 462 And... Uh, I, don't know, I didn't look at this one before. Cute little sort of uh, flowery uh, top, right? The soldered, just a plain old soldered loop and bale. Uh, another, you know, nice little cute tiny one that will bring your eye to the stone and then show off the stone. I got a lovely little amethyst in there. Um, again, not set, but just sitting in there. Very cute, very gorgeous. And, and that's it for this week. Uh, I think we did good. I wasn't looking at the time. What time? Is it? One hour, eleven oh. minutes. I did. I went over an hour. See, I can listen to myself talk all day long. Um, I think. Um, there were no questions or comments during the stream. I know you guys were so engrossed in all of my commentary about these uh, <laughs> these things. Uh, these new ones on these these trays, you know, we're we're working hard to get all these things on the website, but there's so many. Uh, so many new products um, that you'll only see a few of them at a time. You know, we'll probably do like, uh, you know, as we're entering them, I think we've been doing like 10 at a time. Uh, yeah. So slowly but surely, they're all getting up on there. Um, so I guess that's it. Next week, uh, we'll just do a, a few more uh, settings that are not specifically pendant settings, but that are... Um, like pendant settings that are mostly just the baskets and then I guess the week after that then we'll start on the pearls uh, you know uh, pendants uh, which are there are so many cool things in there and uh, uh, so many cool ways you can use them um, right so thanks for joining us this week um, we'll see you next week next Wednesday for the that would be the 37th uh, one in the meantime take care of yourself take care of your mental health <laughs> take care of the planet uh, take care of each other and keep creating keep making stuff keep those creative juices flowing uh, you know if you're stuck inside uh, maybe you've been quarantined again <laughs> and you uh, you're hitting a you know a, a wall, your creative wall. You can't think of something else to make. You know, uh, my suggestion is to go back and make something that you're really good at, that is simple for you to do. Um, just the act of your hands working and not thinking about it too much, what you're doing, because you're already so good at it, you're familiar with it. Uh, once you get that movement, the synapses start firing, and then you can start extrapolating. And then that's when the new ideas come, when you're uh, working on old things. Trust me, it works 100% of the time, for me. <laughs> uh, all right, I guess that's it. Uh, take care. We'll see you next week. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Bye-bye. Pretty good. We're off.